Good day everyone! I'm Shin Carlon, your student nurse from Central Scholar University, Manila. Today, I will be demonstrating to you how to administer drug orally. So, before administering medication, review the physician order and perform hand hygiene. Implement the 10 rights of medication administration, right patient, right medication, in the right dosage, via right route at the right time. So, prepare the drugs one person at a time and do not leave drugs unattended. So, let's begin! Good morning, Mom. I'm Shin Carlon, your nurse for today. So, may I know your name? And can you tell me your date of birth? Laila Bante, October 15, 2005. Okay. So, Laila, do you have any allergy? No. Okay, noted. So, I'm going to give you a paracetamol for your fever and stool softener, okay? Okay. Okay. So, first, check the medication label in the medication administration record here always check for the expiration date okay next for unit dosage tablets or capsule put it in the medication cup and do not remove the packaging okay Next, I'm going to position my patient into an upright position. You can also position your patient into lateral position. So, okay, ma'am, let me assist you. So, are you comfortable with that position, ma'am? Yes, nurse. Okay. So, after that, we can now give her her medicine. So, allow the patient to administer medication if she can do so. So, put it in her hand like this and administer the drug or capsule and offer her with her preferred liquid. So, ma'am, here is a warm water, okay? Okay. It's another one. Did you swallow it? Yes, nurse. Can you sh open your mouth and show me that you already complete swallowed your medication? Okay, thank you. So, after that, we can now position our patient into a comfortable position. Okay. And wash our hands. Also, document the administered medication including the root of application. So, that's it. Now, I will be demonstrating how to administer parenteral medication. What we will need are syringes, cotton balls, alcohol, waste receptacle, marker, tape, Gauze, so let's assume that this is a gauze, cleaning gloves, and medical administration record. First, we'll do the intradermal injection skin test. Good evening, sir. I'm Shane Carlon, your nurse for today. May I check your wrist? Okay, thank you. So now, I'm going to perform a skin test to make sure that you don't have allergy to the drug. Okay, here as you can see, prior to this, I already performed hand hygiene, gather all the necessary materials needed, then check it with the medication administration record. In doing intradermal injection, the common site is the lower arm, just below 3 to 4 fingers in the antecubital space, just around here. So, here, in my patient, after locating it, wipe it with an alcohol. First is the inside, then outside, in circular motion. Okay. 
Then, uncock our needle. Hold the syringe between thumb and four fingers. Thumb and four fingers with bevel up. Just like this. Just like this. Okay? Then, inject 5 to 15 degree angle. Then, steady the hub with our non-dominant hand. Then, inject slowly and steady. While injecting, you can notice a small black. After we draw the needle quickly, Then, block the site with dry gauze. Remember to do not massage the site. Okay. Then, we're gonna draw a circle. Sorry. We're gonna draw a circle around the perimeter of the black. Then place a tape with the medication name and due time to mark for rechecking. Just like that. Next, we're gonna dispose all the materials used in the waste receptacle. And lastly, we're gonna remove our gloves. And wash our hands. Next, I will be demonstrating how to subcutaneous injection. In doing subcutaneous injection, we'll choose the side of the back of the upper arm, just around here. Laila, I want you to hold this. Like that. Next, we'll cleanse the area with an alcohol. In circular motion, starting from the center, going outwards. Then, let it dry. Next, we're going to hold the cotton ball between our third and fourth finger of our non-dominant hand. Just like this. Then, uncup our needle. And hold the syringe as dark, just like this, with bevel up. Next, pinch the area. Then, inject 45 to 90 degree angle. Then, with our non-dominant hand, stabilize the hub. Then inject medicine slowly and steady. Then we draw the needle quickly. Then using our dry cotton, apply gentle pressure to the side. Do not massage it. Okay? Then, using with a fishing technique, then 
throw it in a sharp container just like that and we're gonna remove our gloves and wash our hands lastly I will be demonstrating how to interdermal injection in doing interdermal injection, we'll choose the site of deltoid. So, in locating our deltoid, at the end of the clavicle, the acromion process, and the auxilia, then just turn this away. So, this is our deltoid. So, Laila, I want you to hold this. So, after locating the site, Cleanse the area with alcohol. So, in circular motion, starting from the center, going outwards. Then, let it dry. Next, I'm going to hold a cotton ball between my third and fourth finger. Just right here, of my non-dominant hand. Next, I'm going to uncup the needle. And hold the syringe a slight dark with bevel up. Then, I'm going to grasp the muscle if the patient is thin. Just like this. Then, we're gonna inject 90 degree angle. Then, st stabilize the hub with our non dominant hand. Then, we're gonna aspirate to check if blood appears. So, if blood, if blood appears, you should remove the needle and repeat restart the process but if not proceed injecting the medicine slowly and steady after injecting we'll just wait for just about 10 seconds before withdrawing the needle. So, wait. Then, use our dry cotton. Gently apply pressure to the side. And quickly remove the needle. Remember to do not massage the area. Discard all the materials used in the waste receptacle. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna remove it. Lastly, we're gonna remove our gloves. And perform hand hygiene. 